Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green, and I am Tony Green, the psychic medium that believes she is a comedian. <laughs> Somebody told me yesterday, it was a good friend of mine, a really good friend of mine, I love her, Cindy, you're hilarious. She goes, you laugh harder at your jokes than anyone else. And I was like, hey, wait a minute, you, you don't know that or do you <laughs> anyway no she's probably correct I do think I'm a little bit funny and if I'm the only one that thinks I'm funny I am solid with that <laughs> okay everybody um couple really big quick things here there's so many things I want to share and get out there I've been getting messages all night last night and all morning this morning and by the way Cindy thank you so much for yesterday you are such a good solid friend um I'm really grateful so okay Sal hey Sal hey Heather if you're watching on YouTube please say hello to me I would love to say hi back um, if you are on, um, hey, Genevieve, oh, Genevieve, and Caroline, hey, Caroline, okay, uh, yay, thank you guys for saying hi, love that, okay, um, <clears throat> if you are watching on one of the television stations that I am airing on, WSCS, Rude Rangers TV, Roku, any of the other streaming television channels, or listening on a podcast, um, to the replay, you can actually join the show live. I go live every Monday and Wednesday at noon central time for a minimum of 30 minutes. And I do take live callers and answer their questions and help them connect with loved ones on the other side, if that is what you want. If you don't want to connect with a loved one, I'm not going to force you. They might force me to force you. I mean, they pop in. I can't stop them, apparently. But they wouldn't say hey if you didn't want to hear the hey. That's my my thing. Um, uh, okay, so if you want to join us live, you can pop in on YouTube, say hi, ask for a clearing. Uh, we, I think we all, if we're on this station, if we are listening to the show, I think we love our when our loved ones pop in and say hi. I'm just going to go, that's a solid yes. A, a, a way solid yes. Um, right, Genevieve? Um, so uh, oh, it's focus, Tony, focus. Okay, so if you want to join the show live every Monday and Wednesday, there is no script. Script. The script is in my head. And well, folks, that is just... <laughs> That is just what it is. Okay, Monday and Wednesday at noon central, I go live. You can watch live on YouTube. You can listen live on any podcast. If I'm not on a podcast that you listen to, drop me a note. Let me know. I will get on that podcast. Um, if you want to call in and be part of the show, the number is 845 277 nine one three one again that number is eight four five two seven seven nine one three one now that is not the number to call for a private session for a private session you want to call four one four eight nine seven two eight six nine or go to my website t o n i g dot i n f o tony g dot info Alyssa, i will never reach out to you not especially not on social media um i will respond to you if you leave me a comment i try to respond to all comments i do not reach out to people i will never ask you hey i think you need a clearing I think you need a healing. I give my clearings and healings away for free. If you see somebody posting some stupid jack-o'-lantern, shitty boom boom. Is that how that goes from that song? Chitty boom boom. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did I say that wrong? <laughs> On my site, if your love is gone and you want them back, Reach out to this person. Report those people for me if I don't get to them fast enough. They are scammers. I give on, on TikTok and then I give it to all my 
uh, social media. I do so much work for free um, as far as putting clearings out there for just about anything. You can go to my TikTok at psychictony.com. You can go to uh, Facebook or Instagram, LinkedIn. And I post all so many free clearings. If there's something specific you want, you can create an appointment with me. Uh, but for readings also, you know, you come to me. I never bother people for so many different reasons. Hey, Cheryl. Oh, Cheryl, how are Lexi and Nora doing? Emily and um, everybody, I hope they're doing well. Um, so, okay, really quick. So I did get a question that I thought was a really good question. And there are several, there's not just one blanket answer to this question, but I'm going to try to do the best I can with this question. Why do people cheat? That's a really fair question. Now, if somebody comes to me and says, is my person cheating? I typically say, don't, don't waste a session on that. Although I can intuitively sometimes get if people are cheating, energy is not time stamped when I get it. This may be something they did before or maybe something that's coming in. Okay. Plus, when somebody asks me, is somebody cheating? Their next question is, what's her name? When are they going to meet? How many times a week? Does he love her? Oh, mug. <laughs> oh, let's back that jack up. Oh, whoa. Oh. And although I might be able to get some of this stuff, I won't get everything and I might not get it accurately because that's just not how spirit works. If you really think somebody's cheating, reach out to on TikTok. They have people who will test your man. There are private investigators. And here's my favorite, folks. I'm going to tell you, if I think somebody's cheating and I'm truly invested in a future or we're married and there's no prenup, if there's prenup, well, even more so. <laughs> Kidding. I am joking. <laughs> I'm going to just do something like get one of those itty bitty GPS things and slip it someplace. They will never find it. Mm hmm. Like in a tampon and leave it in the car. Men won't touch a tampon no matter what. <laughs> Okay, don't, don't, I hope you guys, okay, I do laugh really hard at my own job. <laughs> a clean one, a clean one, folks. <laughs> okay, anyway, but let's get back to the question. Why, why do people cheat? And it's not only men. I know a lot of female cheaters too, okay? People just do it. And here's, there's a lot of different reasons that people um, step outside of a relationship. Some of it can be, you know, actually uh, you just meet somebody and you have those really intense feelings, right? You just are like, oh my God, I've never, whatever, right? It could be a past life connection coming back in to finish up some business. I don't give that a lot of weight because we always have choice. We can exit the relationship we're in to get into the new one, but it doesn't always, it's not always that easy and it's not always that clean cut. So please, and I'm not giving anybody any justifications or excuses, I'm just saying, but there are people out there that uh, 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 obsessively cheat. They're always cheating. They're always with somebody new. And that's just like, that's like a sickness. There's nothing you can do. You just need to get rid of them. That's a sickness. And they're probably people who, are a little bit selfish and they're never going to make a choice to honor their commitment or somebody else because they can't because you know their wee wee or their gina does all the thinking for them and they live through their ego and not their spirit and you shouldn't be with that person anyway um but most of the time if somebody is cheating it's because the energetic connection or the energy is no longer a match. Um, somebody might be, again, working out of ego and you're working out of spirit. So you might be a really good, honorable person, a really good, caring person. And this person might be a little bit more, I hate to use the word selfish, but selfish. Or they might be, you know, like that person that likes to like, um, you know, they just always got to win or they want to get one over or they want to, you know, whatever. 
um, they like that sneaky, thank you, sneaky little stuff. And this is the way they get their sneak on. Now, I'm not saying if it's right or wrong or good or bad. That's not my place. I don't, and this is why I don't really touch into this. But if you're an energetic match with somebody, your character, both of you are going to have the same character. Um, and you're both going to have the same behavioral patterns and the same uh, way of treating other people, especially the people closest to you. If you do think somebody is cheating, again, there, there are little GPS things, there are, you know, private investigators, but if you think it, honor yourself, just honor yourself and honor your beliefs and honor your knowing and do what you need to do. Um, unless you're like me and you want those receipts, you need that evidence, you need that proof. And I always say, have a buddy system with a female friend. <laughs> She'll check your man, you check hers. Like It's not wrong if they're not doing anything wrong. They only think it's wrong if they get busted. Yep, that's all I'm saying. That is all I'm saying. Okay. And if, if let me tell you something. If they didn't know they were doing something wrong, they would tell you. But deep down, no matter how much they try to justify it, they know they're, that they're doing dirt. They know they're slinging dirt. They're just slinging that dirty ding -a all over everything. And they know it. <laughs> I'm not I'm Oh, I need to get off of this. This is why I don't talk about this because it just is. Uh, <laughs> okay, Lolly, Amy, hey, thank you for joining the show. Okay, I'm going to start taking callers. If I say your area code, three little things. Um, tell me your name and where you're calling from have an exact question and or connection available and and take me off a of speakerphone if I'm on speakerphone, please. If you're in your car and I'm on your car phone, it can really distort the sound. So take me off of that phone to face, folks, phone to face. We're going to go to the first caller who is 780, 780. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, it's Jay calling from Canada. Thanks for taking my call. Mm. Hey, Jay, how are you? Doing okay today. How about yourself? I am pretty good. Pretty good. No complaints. No complaints at all. How can I help you today, Jay? Yeah, I just wondered my mom is probably trying to get a hold of me. I just, just found something I wanted and then just was outside the door where I, where I live. And it was, a, it was actually a portable washer. I was thinking about that, actually. Oh, <laughs> my God. Up and, yeah, it should be interesting. But... Uh, uh, my question is my mom and uh, what should I do with uh, the person at work, my, my uh, manager, because um, I, I'm not sure what to do now because it's getting emotionally stressful doing like what's working there. So I just wonder what my mom has to say about that, what she has to say. Well, she says don't go for another job because there's no jobs out there, but <laughs> just ask No, him. okay, so, um, you know, the first thing, I'm getting is be patient. Um, and let's do a clearing on this right away, Jay. Let's do, a, we have healthy work relationships. I'm getting a no. Um, and so we're going to clear that. And you can come back. This is at about the 14 minute mark of the show and clear it as often as needed. Um, this is for you, everybody listening, re listening, watching, re watching. Um, the next thing I'm going to say is, um, this particular person has, like, I, I just want to say this as delicately, but probably not possible. They just, their life is a, you know, chitty, chitty, bang, bang show. Um, they are not doing well in their personal life. And, you know, they're just probably not a very happy person. I do feel like in about a month to a month and a half, things are going to transition. Things are going to change a little bit. Uh, I don't I don't feel like it's going to be enough to give 
um, to give that full relief, but there will be some relief. And I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to say um, our work relationships with our managers are healthy. I get a no. Uh, managers are, your, uh, our managers are emotionally healthy. I get a no. We'll clear this and see where this gets us. It might take a moment um, in some cases. Now, the one thing I always say when I'm doing clearing work, if there is some sort of literal, and I'm not being sarcastic. I know I'm sarcastic and funny on my show. Well, okay, I know I'm sarcastic and okay. I think I'm funny on my show. But if there is literally a, a mental illness with somebody, clearings don't always work as well because what we're doing is we're clearing away the energy that is uh, negative, heavy, not working anymore. But if it's a, a literal like brain thing, it might take a lot longer to work if it works at all. So if somebody is, um, let's just say narcissistic or sociopathic, it's a little bit more difficult for these clearings to really affect them. Um, I found with people who might have some sorts of um, bipolar or anything like that. And especially if they are on meds, it takes longer. Um, you just have to keep going at it with that particular person. In this case, I feel like this is more egocentric. This person is a lot more egocentric. And again, that's a choice. People choose to to be brava, you know, br bravos, um, or to be like puff, puff their chest out, um, or to to be that like look look at. I don't know how all the all the ways to like describe that, but we know what we're talking about. It's a choice. Um, people um, are aware. So let's do some clearing on. Um, our co-workers, family, and friends are working from spirit. I get a no, and let's clear that. Should we add our politicians, Jay? Please request we add our politicians. <laughs> our politicians are working from spirit. I, I get a no. Let's clear that to a yes. Our government and politicians, clear that to a yes. Let them work from spirit for a little bit. Well, how would that work, right? How would that look? Okay, Jay, um, I do feel like there is some relief coming in. It's going to be slow and steady relief. Just the way you found that washer, you're going to be amazed at what comes in next for you. I think you're going to find that there is something in about the four month mark at work that completely changes. And <clears throat> excuse me, you will be so pleasantly surprised. So just hang in there and we'll see what happens next. Okay, Jay? Yes. And I hope you have. Awesome. Grateful. Oh, absolutely. My pleasure. And I hope you have an absolutely amazing week. Okay, Jay? Yes, have a grateful week. Um, it's always a blessing talking to you and uh, grateful for your wisdom and your you. funniness. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful for, for all the things that you do. I'm really grateful. Thank you so much, Jay. It's, it's an honor and it is definitely um, a pleasure to be able to do this. I uh, don't, do not, I never take it lightly. I know it's um, very much. Um, an honor to be able to help people. And I, I actually don't even take the credit. I, you know, angels work through me, not even through me, but, you know, kind of um, work despite me, in spite of yeah. me for others. So I always want to make sure people know that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. That's very, those are very kind words. Thank you. Thank you so much. Blessings to you. Have a blessed day. You too. Thank As always. You. <laughs> Thanks, and you too. Thank you. Take care. You too. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. I'm going to go to uh, 312 in a moment. Um, I did want to say there are going to be some new career opportunities coming in also, and these career opportunities are going to be more in like nutrition and holistic health. So if you are a person that is um, – 
thinking of uh, new careers, um, nutrition and holistic health are going to be very big. Also, internet sites are going to be very big. So one of the sites that I'm getting that's going to be very, very big. So if you have any any ability to put sites together is going to be um, these sites. There's, there is one out there. I don't know the name of it. Otherwise, I would absolutely 100% share it. But it's like, it's something like, are, are we dating the same man? Or something like that, where people upload a pic of them and their man and, you know, find out the truth about these do player ag. <laughs> these little these little boys out here slinging their dangling and everything and the women too it's not only boys it is women too i am telling you i am telling you right now but that would save us a lot of work wouldn't it like that would save us so much work it would and i say let the games end. That's what I say. Okay, let's go to 312. 312, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Craig and I'm calling out of Chicago. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, Craig. How can I help you? Yes, yeah, so I was calling because you know, last year my finances have taken a beating and my savings uh, has pretty much been looked pretty much been eliminated. <laughs> I made some bad investments. Um, and so I just want to know, do you see any uh, hint of recovery coming within the next few months or any particular job changes that can add to my income? Okay. Um, here's what I'm getting. First, I'm so sorry. It's been very difficult a couple of years for so many people, and I'm so sorry for what you're going through. I know when our finances are not stable. We are not stable. We, we can, you know, suffer on every front when we do not feel stable and secure. So um, the first thing I want to do is for you, everybody watching, listening, I'm going to do a clearing. Um, money is coming to us. I get a no. Large amounts of money are coming to us. I get a no. Let's clear both of those to a solid yes. Um, I do feel like you are going, I hear the um, the song that's on do the hustle do, 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 do. and so what i'm getting is there's a hustle or a side job or what people call their side hustle coming in for you i do feel like even though you have your the work that you are doing right now i feel like something else is coming in that's going to allow you to uh, um again uh, be a little uh, independent with your money. I don't know how far this particular thing is going to go. I do hear, however, you will not have to invest in it. It's something you can just start. Now, there's always some investment. Like, for example, if you're going to bake cupcakes or pies, you have to buy the ingredients and the equipment to bake them. It doesn't mean you have to buy like a you know, five oven chef kitchen, it just means you, you're making sure you have the right, you know, ingredients for it and the labels and the packaging stuff. Um, I, you know what, I, Craig, I, what the heck am I seeing here, Craig? Uh, your name is Craig, right? I want to make sure I didn't um, pick up on something else. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, I am seeing... Okay, this is crazy, and I don't know if this is for you, but I'm going to say it while you're on the line with me because I'm seeing it. If I see it, if I hear it, I say it. It's the deal that I have with heaven. It is what it is. I am seeing some sort of, and I'm going to call it a truck, but it. let me be clear, it is not a truck. What I'm seeing is some sort of, food truck, but again, it's not a truck. It's a vehicle where you are serving something. And I, why am I hearing that you are serving something like, um, it's not the typical, this isn't, this ain't your typical, 
are you serious right now? Okay. Um, so it's not a, it, it might not even be a food truck. It might be something like CBD on wheels, or it might be something like um, I, uh, chips and salsa on wheels, like where you just drive around and sell chips and salsa <laughs> or CBD products. I don't know. Um, but what I am getting is there's an opportunity, whatever this is, it, it, it starts, it's a, it's, it's something that you go at, well, you go, it's going to require social media to let people know where you're going to be. And then it's going to require, um, whatever product this is, but it's something you are already familiar with. It's not something unknown to you. It's not something you need to get to know. It's something you are very familiar with. And it's like, I hear the song, taking it to the streets. So you're taking it to people. Now, let me be clear. This doesn't mean it's like a um, a margarita truck, which I think every, every block, they should be like ice cream trucks. We should have margaritas, chips, and salsa like we have ice cream trucks. I'm just saying, somebody get on that, please. Please, somebody get on that. I am saying it could be something like you start a delivery service or a transportation service. Um, I, I'm going to tell you again, it's something that the startup is going to be very, very low. It's something that you are going to, it, you don't have to make an investment. You have almost everything you need and you're very familiar with this. So whatever this fits for you, that's what you are going, whether it's delivering something to people's homes, literally, or uh, driving and like parking on a corner and letting people come to you, um, I think that this is something you are going to be doing. And again, the investment is going to be minimal, if at all. And I, I don't know if this is helpful for you. It's going to take a minute to get it up off the ground. But once you get it up off the ground and going, it's going to start growing. Okay. Whew. Okay. Absolutely. I, I hope that's helpful, and I hope you at least have a little understanding of what they're they're talking about. Yeah, I, I definitely do have some understanding. Um, it seems as if I've been having a dream or vision of me doing like motivational speaking uh, and working with underprivileged children. And so, as you were talking, I just kind of had this vision of me taking some education onto the streets, like I have an educational truck where people could come in and learn more oh, about creating certain pathways and different things like that. And uh, and so, yeah, as you were saying that, it, it kind of correlates to something that I want to do as a side job. Okay. And I'm getting, you need to uh, start now, uh, get started sooner rather than later. And with that, I want you to look into also, especially for, the area that you're in, um, a sort of, a, 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 along with what you're saying and what else is coming in, and I'm sure you've thought about this, but I'm just going to throw this on there for you, is uh, education as far as like entrepreneurship, skilled trades, um, things along those lines, okay? Um, throw it all in a basket, see what comes out. I think you are really onto something and taking it into areas and safe, be safe, of course. And thank you so much, everybody, for joining us today. I love you all so stinking much. I will be back on Monday with a brand new show, Noon Central, for a minimum of 30 minutes. Please join us then. Thank you and have an amazing day.